close your eyes, maybe even call to mind a few of these ties that you would like to set. will manifest in the external world, but what's happening is we're relinquishing this energetic connection between us and somebody else. So what do I mean by that? Let's say there's someone who occupies a large space, a large portion of the mental plane for you. Let's say there's someone who either you had a really toxic, very uh, imbalanced relationship with, and you just you feel like every time you see them or hear from them or even hear a name similar to theirs, you get triggered or you start to feel anxious, your heart starts to race, or maybe you just go on this rumination cycle where you're just caught in the vortex of obsessive thinking. You know, there are so many ways that these energetic ties can present themselves. But if you're feeling like a connection that you have to somebody else is, even if there's someone who's currently in your life, the dynamic isn't healthy. The relationship isn't healthy. You feel like it's just there's a tie there that you want to cut. That's really what we're talking about. So it could even be someone that you're co-parenting with. It could be a, a, an in a sibling, it could be an in-law, it could be somebody with whom you feel just a real negative energy. We've all been there, and it's important to, when you're in these situations, to boundary yourself, know yourself well enough to know, you know, what you want in your life, what you want to call in, and what you want to boundary yourself from, right? And you have every right to set boundaries. You have every right to claim your boundaries and set those boundaries with difficult people in your life, right? But let's say you've set those boundaries and let's say it's just in the mind. In the mind, that's where you still feel a little bit trapped. So that's really what this is going to be about. We're going to be finding those energetic ties and we're going to be cutting them, okay? Cutting these energetic ties, severing these energetic ties so that even when you see this person, you can start to have a lightness. They don't have as strong of a hold. They're, those like hooks that are in you have been like pinged out. <laughs> you're unhooking, you're untethering. It's just becoming a lot freer for you. That's really what we want to do here. Acknowledging that you've cared for yourself enough to take care of yourself, set your boundaries. You know, you deserve that. And now this is just about giving you some freedom in the mind, okay? So let's take a few slow, deep breaths. I'm going to begin with this lovely oralness that was a gift from Kate, one of you. Not a gift from the brand. This isn't a sponsor or anything. But this is a frankincense and myrrh oralness, and I love this. It makes my Reiki room smell lovely, like it lingers for a really long time. <laughs> 
which is nice. Usually the blends that I make, I'll spray them in the room and they last usually for a couple of hours. But then they kind of dissipate. Um, but this one is very, very potent. <laughs> this is the Zoom Mist Aromatherapy Room and Body Mist, in case you're curious. Okay, my dear. So, let's take a few deep breaths. You want to slow your breathing. You want to relax. We're going to start to do a little bit of kind of releasing on the exhale. And inviting in calm, trust, self-love. On the inhale. So on the exhale, releasing any tension in your body. Maybe you have some tension in your mouth or your jaw. Maybe you have some tension in the throat space. Sometimes that can happen. To start out, I just want to assure you that all of these, if you're dealing with someone who's really, really, really difficult, maybe you're dealing with someone who's got narcissistic tendencies, who's gaslighting you. I know you have reached out to me with emails about that. If you're dealing with someone who is just really difficult, I'm sending you so much love. It is so hard. It's so hard, particularly if it's somebody who won't take accountability for their own actions or their impact. That's so hard. It's so hard, and sometimes it can feel like you're screaming into a void. So I see you. I hear you. If you want someone to validate you, we do an amazing job here in this community of validating each other and commenting beautiful comments on each other. So if there is something you want to share, just to be validating. Um, I know that you guys are also great at policing comments. So if somebody leaves an, an inappropriate comment, which hardly ever happens, but when that happens, I know you police as, as much as I try to. You guys kind of fill in those gaps as well. So this is a safe space, okay? You can... Just share something that's going on, share whatever you're comfortable with, you know, and just know that there will be, you'll, you will be met with kindness and consideration. I trust that because all of the comments that you all leave for each other are so beautiful. When I read the little, um, chains of comments, the threads, it's just like, it makes me so happy and proud of you guys. So yeah, and just know that I'm sending you so much love and just know that if you're dealing with someone difficult, if you're dealing with someone who's really, really challenging, just know that you're going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're strong enough to set the boundaries that you need to set. You're strong enough to deal with this. You're strong enough to move through this. You're strong enough to stay in your truth. You're strong enough to take care of yourself and to reach out for help. You're so strong. It's going to be okay. Okay? Sometimes... We can get caught up in the fears of what might happen or what could happen or what they could do or how they could interpret this or what could happen. Let's take a deep breath together and just recognize that those fears only exist in your mind, okay? If something happens, you will deal with it. But those fears, you can just let them go. They're really not serving you. Easier said than done, right? especially when we're dealing with people like that. But it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And so when we're doing any kind of deeper energetic work, it's really important to set a super clear intention. Because intentions, when I teach this in my Reiki courses, but intentions are really the backbone to all of this kind of energetic healing work. When we are taking accountability for ourselves, which is really what the power of, you know, walking down this path of self-healing is all about, is taking accountability for our lives, taking responsibility for our light, for what we share with the world, for what we choose to let into our lives. So in that, intention is so supportive. It's really key. It's, it's just such a beautiful part of this empowering process. I like to do this with a candle, as you, as you know, if you've watched any of my sessions here. So we're going to start with our intention candle. And I have a really beautiful one. We're sticking with that frankincense vibe. 
So this is a natural coconut wax apothecary candle and this is frankincense. I have noticed that with this candle, it took a minute for the for the burn to be right. It kept going out. Um, but now it burns beautifully. Hemlock Park. Okay. So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and in perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki session to help you release the energetic ties connecting you to difficult people. Cutting any ties that are making you feel disempowered, dragging you into a low frequency, low vibrational thought pattern, Only you can know what feels disempowering for you. And you get to choose which energies you invite in and which energies you reject. That's really what this is about. This is really about you taking ownership of your power, taking back your power. So now... If you want to clarify this, this would be a great time for you to, maybe even if you immediately knew, oh my gosh, I know exactly who I want to cut this, like cut ties with. I want to cut, I want to sever this tie with this person. If you knew that right away, feel free now to clarify this. Use this flame to set that intention through time and space. Really specify what it is and clarify what you want to release here. If it's a specific, you know, thought that continues to kind of plague you, you can bring that up just saying, I want to cut ties with this person so I can release this thought pattern. So there's some neuroplasticity happening here. But let me bring this candle in and just give you an opportunity to clarify what you'd like. What you'd like to release, what you'd like to call in, However, you'd like to use this session for your self-healing. Because Reiki is really just all about helping you to heal yourself. We all have the innate ability to heal ourselves. But setting an intention is the most important thing. We can't hit a target if we don't have one. Beautiful. If you need a little bit more time, as always, please pause, take a moment, take a few breaths. Okay. I'm going to come through with just a couple of selenite wands and just do a little bit of clearing to start off, okay? So I'm going to start at your crown and I'm going to work my way down. So this is our sort of preliminary cleansing. So a lot of the times during a Reiki session, people come in with like the comorbidities, like tons of different aspects that are out of balance, that need a healing. So if we can clear a few of those on the outset, that'll give us an opportunity to go a little bit deeper. And one way that you can do that is by really being present, allowing your mind to focus on this present moment, And slow your breathing. Do whatever you can to promote a sense of calm. That's why ASMR and Reiki work so well together, I find. And I know you do too because it allows you to kind of release some of that tension right out of the gate. So, these selenite wands are cleansing and purifying, transmuting. And we're going to start at the crown and work our way down. And slowly coming through. Clearing anything that comes up. Good. We're going to do that two. 
two more times. Maybe you need to hear that you're okay a couple more times, because you're okay. It's going to be okay. I'm sending lots of love. I see you. I hear you. I'm sending you lots of love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One more time. You can even say on this one, I release all tension in my body. I release all tension in my body. Good. Sometimes the mental plane needs a little bit of extra cleansing. The selenite wands are self-cleansing, so you don't need to clear them afterwards. But if you did want to use a stone to do some cleansing that is not self-cleansing, you can always run it through a little bit of smoke afterwards, just to clear the, the crystals of that energy. So, this is the bowl into which I'm going to cast any of these energetic cords, okay? So, what I would like to do is just put a few different stones in here that can really support us as we cast any of this energy in there. Because we want to make sure that we're getting rid of everything and that we are allowing it to be fully released. I'm going to be using two self-cleansing stones. You could also use a, a stone that you need to cleanse and then just cleanse it afterwards. So I'm going to start with this black kyanite. Wonderful stone for clearing and cleansing. So I'm going to place this in the bowl. Then I'm going to place this peach selenite. This is a very joyful stone. Much like the selenite wand, it's very cleansing. I just find this stone to be very happy. So we have those two stones, and we're going to begin locating our cords, and then we're going to cast them in here, okay? All right, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to align myself with your energy. Now, outside of your heart space, I am going to draw the sacred Reiki symbol.
try to slow your breathing as much as possible. And I'm going to begin trying to locate some chords here. Close your eyes. Maybe even call to mind a few of these ties that you would like to set. Okay. So, we have a lot of energetic chords here. Now, these might not all be for different individuals. Very likely, these are different aspects that are tethered. So it could be you know, self-doubt that's connected to the actions of that individual. It could be Anxieties, maybe very specific fears. Some of these could be tethers to different individuals for sure. to the ground, and then they kind of cascade all the way down. So we will be cutting them here, above the crown, and then releasing them and casting them into our bowl. But because you have so many cords that are connected here, you are going to feel so much freer when we release these. Does it feel surprising that so much of your energy is tethered? Or do you feel like it makes sense? You feel very burdened by this. Okay. Well, I know that you'll feel a lot lighter after this. Let me take a Loosen them up. So now all you want to do is just 
if you're open to it, just say, I affirm, I attest, I am open to receiving this energetic clearing. I am open to releasing this energetic cord. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. like there's some lingering energy here, just above your crown, maybe in the mental plane. Just going to cut it right above your crown. I've been having, or I really want to release these insistent, insistent thoughts about, you know, maybe if it's a relationship getting back together or what I did wrong, or, you know, it's always great to self-reflect. That's so important. (laughs) That's what makes us empathetic, caring people and not people that are on the other side of the spectrum. (laughs) So self-reflection is so important, but if you're constantly taking on all the burdens and you're even taking on the way that other people impact you, so the the actions of other people, if you're taking that on as your responsibility, we need to release that. So maybe that's it, that's it for you. There could be so many aspects. I know some of you have cher- shared gaslighting and how disempowering that's felt for you. Of course it has. Because that's the that's the, um, that's the mechanism. It's for disempowerment, gaslighting. So maybe you know what it is, or maybe you're just open to just doing this general cleansing, whatever it is. Sometimes it can be helpful to label that. So this one here, I'm going to go ahead and just above your crown.
clear this one here. this one here now, okay. So these are my Reiki teacher always called these kinds of energetic cords, morbid matter. And I've got some of this morbid matter. Good. Oh. Good. I'm gonna collect some of these cords from your feet. When we're done, cast them into our bowl. Now let's do this one here, okay? This one's kind of from I wonder what this thought is all about. Let's go ahead. disempowering cord, this connection, and let's just sever it for you. Let's get rid of that connection. You don't need to ruminate on those people anymore. You don't need to overthink what you said, what you did, what happened. Learn from things, set boundaries, and move forward. Okay, my love, here we go. Let them fall and I'll gather them, okay? This one? Or this one? Or this one? Deep breath in and on your exhale, we'll release. Just let it go. Spiritual clean out. Spiritual deep clean. Let's do it again with this one, okay? 
think you know what this one is. Let's release that. Maybe that's a connection to validation. Maybe that's fear of judgment. Maybe that's fear of the uncertain, of the unknown. Maybe that's always wondering about potential, what could, what could. Or maybe it's about the shoulds, what should I be doing, how should I be behaving, what should I do. So let's go ahead and look at this one. God, beautiful. Not many left. Not many left. Let me get my scissors here. Okay. Not many left. You feel lighter. You feel lighter. Let's get this one. residual energy here, so let's go ahead and cut that. Good. Just a few left. Let's breathe in and out. Recognizing that you don't have far to go now. You don't have long to go. Let's get rid of this. this one. Wonderful. And now this last one. This is the very last chord. Are you ready to fully release this toxic, energetic connection? Okay, good. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Let it fall away, let it fall away. Do one over here. There we go. 
Let it fall away, let it fall away. Am I doing over here? Okay, good. Let's do one more. Good, let that go. And we'll just start here and we'll try and do the rest of it over here. Yeah, just release it. Let it all go. Let it all go. Let it all go. It's time. We're gonna cleanse all of that residual energy, all that residual gunk, down at your feet, but now we're just gonna let it go. Especially from the mental plane, especially from the crown, just releasing that, releasing any of those energetic ties, okay? Good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, this one's a little stuck. Wow, those ones are very stiff and rigid. Okay, it's looking so much better. Just a few more here. Good, good. There. All right, let's see. Not long. that. Let's cast them into our bowl to be cleansed. And we'll use a little bit of smoke to really smudge and just get rid of all of the rest of the gunk, the residual energy, all of it. But oh, you're so much lighter. Okay, let me gather these. this into our bowl and then we'll cleanse it. residual cords that we cast into here are gone. It's just our two stones. Just our two stones in here. So the second I throw this into here, it's going to disappear. You just have to say, I'm ready to let go. I'm ready to release all of that toxic energy. Okay? So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, I release all of this toxic garbage. One, two, three. So our selenite and our kyanite have worked their magic and the bowl is empty. 
all gone, no more, completely empty, totally empty, totally empty. So now, let's do some energetic purification with our smoke. So we are lighting these off of our intention candle. We're going to come through and do a really beautiful... Cleansing and purifying. Cleansing and purifying. Okay, beautiful. Put this on. Beautiful. So we're just releasing, releasing that cord, releasing any residual energy, just clearing. Clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing. Oh gosh, it's just gonna feel so nice. Clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing, clearing down by your feet, releasing, 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 releasing. Beautiful, gosh. Oh, it feels so much better, so much better. So much better, so much better. Good. Good, 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 good. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Good, 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 good. It's beautiful. Now We'll lift your vibration with some koshi chimes. Lifting your vibration with these koshi chimes. Filling you with this beautiful light, with this airy, gorgeous energy. So filling you with light, with an airiness, this beautiful energy. This is where you are. You are here in this field of love. I hold you and see you in a field of love. You hold and see yourself in a field of love and light. Beautiful, sparkling light.
see how much more space you have for expansion, for love, for compassion, for self-expression, for expressing yourself. Now that you released these, now you can be courageous. Now you can be productive. Now you can be creative. Now you can be really in touch with your senses, very sensual and connected to your own sense of pleasure and enjoyment. Now you can really relax, allow yourself to really decompress. And now you can connect more deeply with divine energy, divine light. You can connect to wisdom. You can recognize all your choices. It's so beautiful. I'm sending you so, so much love. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to return to this as often as you need to. Just take really good care of yourself. And please take care of each other. Till we meet again. Be so well. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. So, I hope to see you soon. Namaste, and be well. Hello, my lovely, lovely patrons. This session is going to be all about just like sending love and care. So sending that love towards you and see if you can just maybe breathe it in. Fill yourself up with that gorgeous loving energy. Imagine the aroma just swirling in and flowing all through your body. Which can be directed and channeled position you find yourself in, bring to heart 